Hello, I'm Congresswoman Lois Capps. Thank you for inviting me to voice my strong support for the International Food Security Treaty. I'm sorry that I could not be there with you in person, but I would like to take this opportunity to share why I believe this proposal deserves the full consideration of the Committee on World Food Security. I was first introduced to the International Food Security Treaty proposal more than 10 years ago, early in my career, during my first years on the Congressional Hunger Caucus. My colleagues and I had the opportunity to extensively learn about the proposal during a series of briefings on Capitol Hill. At the time, I was impressed and energized by the proposal's unique strategy for conquering hunger and starvation globally. And in the years since, the primary advocates of this proposal have diligently developed an, an effective legal framework that would fill an indisputable gap in the food security formula currently used around the world. As you know, the right to an adequate standard of healthy living, including food, was incorporated into the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights nearly 67 years ago. And the, and the right to freedom from hunger has been affirmed again and again by the UN in the succeeding years. Yet, the, despite these affirmations and the tireless efforts of governments, NGOs and other organizations to provide food security to those who need it, we still fall short in guaranteeing this essential right to all. The traditional food aid model cannot prevent those who wish to use hunger as a weapon from doing so. The global community needs a mechanism to prosecute those who impede access to food and protect the most vulnerable. Without clear, enforceable laws in place, those who intentionally withhold or disrupt the distribution of food will be able to continue wielding immense and deadly power over large populations around the world. This proposal is an important piece of a complex food security puzzle, and its adoption would bring us one step closer to eradicating hunger worldwide. That is why I am asking the committee to consider this alternative approach to addressing hunger and famine today. I encourage the committee to give full consideration to the international food security proposal and urge its adoption. Thank you.